Yo, what's going on guys, it's Houston Sports Star picking in the video today, and today the Houston Astros lose to the Los Angeles Angels in extra innings, 13-12, uh, to 12. tough loss for the Astros, uh, probably the worst loss of the season for the Houston Astros, most likely, I would consider this loss right here the worst loss of the season for the Astros, they had a 9-3 in this, 9-3, 9-3, lead in the ball game in the seventh inning gave up six runs in the seventh inning to tie the ball game at nine then they were lucky to score uh three more runs in the ball game scored two in the eighth one in the ninth they were up 12 to nine and then they gave up three earned runs in the ninth to tie the game up at 12 and then in the 10th a uh taylor ward grounded into fielder's choice Greg Kistner, who was in the ball game because Jeremy Pena got hurt in his at bat, uh, was playing at shortstop. He made the play, or yeah, he made the play at, at second base to get you know the first out, and then makes the play at first, overthrows for the error, and then the Angels win the ball game. So really tough loss to the Astros. I, in my opinion, this was the worst loss of the season for the Astros. You were up multiple times in this ball game. You were up nine to. Th you know, there, there's been a couple. There's been a lot of lots of games where the Astros had big leads this season. I mean, just the, on July third. I mean, this was a game they won, but this was a game where they should have never been put in that position. They were they were playing the Rangers. They won twelve to eleven in that game. And I think they were up like ten to three or something like that. Might me, yeah, might have been, yeah. I think it was like I think they were up like ten to three, something like that. And the Rangers came all the way to tied at like ten or something. And it's just there's been multiple times the Astros have blown leads this season. I mean the Dodgers, the twenty fourth of June, uh, they were up at least like six runs, I think, and blew that lead, lost seven to eight. So Astros. It feels like a lot this season. They have been blowing leads. Uh, you could look at. I mean, I'm just. I'm just telling y'all. You know, there was. Well, there was one game that they blew a huge lead. Were able to get the win. There's another game with the Dodgers, like I was talking about. And now tonight, there's been multiple. There's been multiple times that this season that the Astros have blown a. You know, a big lead, and I'm talking about like an area of four or higher, and, and it continued to happen tonight for the Astros, which is tough. You know, the hitting, it wasn't bad tonight for the Strohs. The hitting was amazing for the Astros. Scored 12 runs, got 16 hits. The pitching was bad. I'm not going to say Valdez was bad. He did give up five earned runs, on only, but that was on two swings. But Valdez had maybe one of his best career starts of his career. You know, the, the earned runs doesn't look good. Neither does the hits. But, or no, the hits don't look too bad for Fromber. But he, he did have... Well, he was he was he was one he was two strikes away from uh, his career amount of strikeouts in a game. Uh, he, he he did tie it with thirteen, and he they took him out of the game, and which really scared me as well because uh, who knows what happened there with Framber Valdez if if he's going to be okay because he he was taken out of the ball game in a one one count. And he had 13 strikeouts in the ball game, which ties a career high for him. I mean, he he was solid for the Astros in this ball game. It was really good for us. Uh, went 6.1 innings pitch, only gave it seven hits, five earned runs, two walks with 13 strikeouts. I thought Valdez was really good. I mean, just gave up five earned runs, but it was only on two swings, so two home runs. So uh, I don't, I don't I thought Valdez was was excellent for the Astros today. But let's go over the game as the Astros lose in 10 innings, 13 and 12. Uh, 16 hits for the Astros, 15 for the Angels, two errors in the ball game for the Astros, one for the Angels. Win goes to as as Estevez. He's three and one on the season. He pitched the tenth inning, zero in runs, one strikeout, one walk. Loss goes to Phil Maton. Uh, he just got the win yesterday, so he's the winning pitcher of yesterday's ball game, and now the the losing pitcher of today's ball game. He's two and three on the season. Uh, just like yesterday, pitched 0.2 innings pitch, zero earned runs, zero strikeouts, um, one walk. Let's go over the the scoring summary for this ball game. Angels got it started with a three run homer in the second inning. Ren Renhifo homered to right center, 384 feet. Renfro scored. Thice 
scored. It's 3-0. to zero. Then the Astros get it started in the third inning. Kyle Tucker with his 58th and 59th RBIs of the season. RBI single to center. McCormick scored and Dubon scored. It's 2-3. to three. How about Marty Maldonado? A beautiful double down the left line. McCormick scored. That's in the fourth inning, by the way. McCormick scored. Yanner Diaz scored. It's 4-3. to three. Seventh inning. Astros score a lot of runs in the seventh inning. Um, I think, yeah, they scored, what, five runs in the, yeah, five runs, seventh inning, and actually that was against former Houston Astro Chris Davinsky. And seventh inning, Maurice Dubon, RB, he had a big RBI single yesterday for the Astros to give them the 6-4 lead uh, get for two RBIs. He hit the RBI single, McCormick scored, Maldonado to third, it's 5-3. to three. Kyle Tucker, third RBI of the night, sacrifice fly to center, Maldonado scored his 60th RBI of the season, and Kyle Tucker is the first player on the Astros to reach 60 RBIs. How about Jose Abreu? Has been great since Jordan Alvarez was in, has gotten injured, and he continues to do that. Seventh inning, three-run home run. Jose Abreu's home run to center, 398 feet. Dubon scored. Bregman, to th- Bregman scored, um, and it's 9-3. to three. Then the seventh inning, how about the you know the Angels coming back? Need a home run to left center, 424 feet. Renjifo scored 9-4. to four. Eduardo Escobar, single to right. Ward scored. Moniak to second, 9-6. to six. Mike Moustakis, home run to right center, 386 feet. Moniak scored. Escobar scored. Ball game tied. Eighth inning, Chas McCormick, home run to right, 373 feet. Diaz scored. Astros take the lead, 11-9. Yanner Diaz, ninth inning. Yanner Diaz, RBI single to left. Jose Brady scored 12 to 9. Ninth inning, Shohei Otani, home run to center, 404 feet, 12 to 10. Uh, ninth inning, Ward scored on Escobar, Escobar to second on pass ball by Martin Maldonado. Uh, Velas- Velasquez to third on pass ball by Maldonado, 12 to 11. Ninth inning, Renfro, single to center. Vasquez scored. Escobar to third, 12-12. Go to extra innings. Astros don't score any runs in the 10th inning. And then to win the ball game in the 10th, the Angels ward grounds into fielder's choice to second. Tony out at, oh, Tony out at second. Cabbage scored on throwing error by shortstop. Gray Kistner, and it's 13-12. So a tough loss for the Astros today. Let's go over the batting for the Astros. Dubon had himself a day, three for six. Enfield single in the first inning to shortstop. Uh, single in the third inning to left. Uh, single to left in the third inning. McCormick to second. And then single RBI single in the seventh inning. McCormick scored Maldonado to third. So three single day. Another three hit game for Mauricio Dubon uh, having three singles. Jeremy Pena was one for six, got hurt. And he had a single to right in the eighth inning. Uh, Jeremy Pena has continued to struggle. Kyle Tucker, one for four. Uh, they He got intentionally walked again for the second time in this series in the tenth inning. Uh, he hit a sacrifice fly for the RBI in the seventh inning. Had a two RBI single in the third inning. So a th- one for four for Tucker today, but did have three RBIs and did reach his 60th RBI of the season. Alex Bregman, a little bit of a struggle for Breggy today. He did have a seventh inning single to center, Dubon to third, but besides that, Bergman went one for six. Corey Jokes was one for five today. He had a second inning double to left, uh, which was I think that was the Astros. Yeah, that was the Astros' first, you know, actual base hit. Uh, the first, the first hit of the ball game for the Astros was an infield hit, and Jokes would have the first, the first base hit with a double to left and. That would be it for Corey Jokes going one for five. Yanner Diaz, two for four. First game since last Sunday when the Astros were going to the All-Star break. So he did not play in yesterday's game. So his first first game in the second half, he had a walk in the fourth inning, then a single to center in the eighth inning, and then a sing, RBI single in the ninth inning. So two for four with a walk in an RBI. Chas McCormick, he was amazing today. Reached base every single at bat, going three for three with four runs scored and two RBIs. He had a walk in the third inning. He had a walk in the fourth inning to have put Diaz on second. Then he reached on an infield single to second in the seventh inning. An eighth inning home run to give the Astros the 11-9 lead, 373 feet. Then the ninth inning, Reach on the infield single to third, Diaz to second. So three for three day with two walks, four runs scored, one home run, and two RBIs for Chas McCormick. Maldonado went two for five, and he had a, he had an RBI double. He had a single in the seventh inning, 
McCormick to third, so solid day for Maldi going two for five after struggling yesterday. Jake Myers was a pinch runner in this ball game, and that was really it. And, it, and to me, it would have looked like is that Jake might have got in a haircut, a little bit of a haircut uh, while looking, watching him at second base. Uh, but who knows? It uh, doesn't really matter, though. Uh, other pitching for the Astros went over uh, Framber Valdez as he pitched. You know, he pitched near seven innings with seven hits, five earned runs, two walks, 13 strikeouts. Also went over Maton, who got credited for the loss. How about Ryan Stanek? I mean, the rest of that seventh inning was a little bit tough for the Astros. Ryan Stanek would only get one out in the seventh inning after coming in for Framber Valdez. He gave up two hits, three earned runs, one walk, one strikeout. But then Brian Abreu would get the the last out. He'd give up a run and a home run. He'd get a strikeout, and the Astros would finally get out of the seventh inning. Hector Neris would get out of the eighth inning with one strikeout. And after Presley, Stanek, and Abreu struggled, uh, Neris was able to get through the inning cleaning, get through the inning clean, zero hits, zero earned runs, zero walks, did get a strikeout. Ryan Presley... His toughest, one of his toughest outings of the year, most likely. Uh, Presley had had twelve straight outings, twelve straight outings, twelve straight innings, without giving up any hits. He gave up five hits today, two earned runs, did get a strikeout, was able to get out of the ninth inning without the Astros losing this ball game. But his pitching, his bad pitching, his struggling in the ninth was probably the reason the Astros lost this ball game. Phil Maton. Would only get two outs in the tenth inning, and the Astros lost his ball game as he gave up. Well, he didn't give up a walk; it was an intentional walk, giving up, you know, putting Shohei Otani at first base. So, uh, Maton wasn't. I wouldn't say Maton was bad. I thought Maton did really solid for the Astros. It was just, I'm not gonna even blame anybody on that play in the tenth inning. It wasn't. It wasn't a great throw by Kistner, but it was just a little bit off. Jose Abreu couldn't reach it. I don't think I'm going to blame anybody on that play right there. It was a hard play on both sides uh, for Brehu and Kistner. But you guys are your thoughts on the Astros game. I think this was definitely the toughest loss of the year. That's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed, and peace out. Go Astros.